guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Welcome back to another part of this Patreon series. I've been messing around with these little flanges. This is sort of what it looks like in full size. It's longer than it is wide and I don't really like the proportions. I printed it out to scale which is, I don't know if you can see that, is that one there. And I've modified it a bit to look a little bit better, a little bit wider on that, on this way rather than narrow. Or a little bit shorter if you like for its size. And I don't mind the look of that. Now these are a bit ugly. This one's already got this hole sort of drilled in here. fit a 5 16th pipe and I've sort of drawn around that and cleaned it up with the Dremel and a little file or 10 the cast iron up here is pretty soft really so And that doesn't look too shabby. For strength, I think this 5 16th tube wants to, to fit through there a little bit. And I think I'm probably only going to put two inches sticking out, enough for a bend here and a bend here, or a piece out here. And we whatever we put as far as a radiator or a tank or whatever's going to have rubber tube between, I think. That's the theory. If we need we ever even get that far as for water cooling. Um, this is still quite a bit thinner than that and it doesn't look too bad but this probably looks pretty good I think. We've got all that cleaned up. I'm probably just going to use a plastic template. To mark front and back here, and we'll get the ruler across here, I think, across the center of this so it lines up, and across one of these, and just make sure that our bolt holes look half decent and somewhere near square. As such, this could probably do with a little bit more off this side. We would have carefully center punched them and drilled them to 6BA. I think we're going to go with 6BA again, which is the same as what we've done here. Actually, they don't look too bad and they're a bit bigger than 6BA. They're actually the same as what we what we used here. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I might drill it and tap and put two of them in there. Yeah? That'll be the next job, and we'll get in and make a couple of flanges. So, cut two bits of brass. Uh, Sliced them off with the slit and saw in the mill. It's the easiest way. And I've centre punched them carefully and drilled them. They're both interchangeable here. I've already made one, which is what it's going to look like on the top. This needs a bend in it. My tube bender doesn't work on 5 16 tubing. I have one that goes to quarter inch and one that goes from three eight inch up. So 
that's not much help I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that but we'd like a nice bend in that to go up to the tank and this one's just straight out about 20 millimeters so anyway this is what I've done this block this has got a hole in here but we're going to work around that I think it's got to have a fair bit off him I'm going to set this up in the four jaw on centre here uh, with a, just gripping on the, the last part there and machine the front of it off to match this one with a step in it and drill it and then put the 3D print one on there file around him nicely and suicide a pipe in and bolt him on so that's today's job so that's pretty straightforward there um, to set that up after the second one I've just put a piece of high speed steel in there as a spacer because I haven't got a parallel about the right size um, anyone watching this might realize that parallels of all size are useful and it's easy to discount and I don't, don't think I'd ever use those they're not the sort of parallels I use any particular size and shape of parallel are useful for something and you should if you get a match pair of them hang on to them because they're pretty nice to have anyway that's set up within a thou no problems at all next job is to machine this down to width and it's pretty warm here in the workshop today I guess it's, there's a hot wind, I guess it's probably 35, 40 inside here. It's a bit, a bit, bit excessive really. But we'll get a bit done. So that's the profile pretty much down to size. Next job I guess here is to take this burr off, take him out, mark the back of him and sand it to profile but before we do that I really need to drill this. So that's what we've got. Holes line up, which we're really pleased about. I've just blued this and marked the back around the plastic template, which seems to be a, probably is a cheat's way of doing it, but it's <clears throat> seems to work. And we've got an oval there. The next job is to file this up or, or clean it up or sand it up or whatever. I'm going to hit this on the miniature and take the high spots off it, clean it up carefully and then solder the pipe in and finish it after that so that it looks something like this one. So I'm going to go across the miniature, just carefully clean this up, it's going to get hot so it's going to take a little while and I'll come back and we'll solder the pipe in. So there we go. We've got pretty cute flange that pretty much matches the other one. Looks pretty good. This could do with the rub on the back probably. And we've got a fairly nice clean bit of tube about the right length to go on there. That gives us enough of an output there to put a rubber hose on. And I'm going to silver solder that up and start and drop him in the pickle and we'll bolt him all up and see how it looks so I flax this up um, just a bit of flux on the tube and put it in the hole 
You don't want flux everywhere or you end up with solder everywhere. And we're warming up. And that should have a pretty good seam around there. And we'll get the pliers and drop him in the pickle just to clean him up. And we'll have a look and see how it bolts on there. So a couple of hours later, and I've got all this back together. I've got this one bolted on here and this one bolted on here if we have a look. Um, that fits nicely there under the, under the push rod. A little bit impressed that all this push rod went back together the second time round nicely. This bolt here, I guess this probably wants a bend over to be about the same width sticking out here. And then whether we put a tank here is probably a good idea. Uh, whether we put a, A silk screen radiator would be really, really nice too. I think it might be a little bit too much messing around, but it's probably a really fun thing to do. Uh, a proper radiator, which is probably overkill for the amount of heat in this. And it would also require a fan. I have put a groove in this flywheel um, just in case we need to put a fan on the inside of a radiator. But at this point, that isn't going to happen. I don't think it really needs to be that portable. Uh, so we've got two pipes on. The astute amongst you will realise that part 15 of this video series is still on my computer. It hasn't been uploaded. So we've missed out part 15. That's going to be boring this cylinder and it's going to happen sooner rather than later, once we get all our ducks in a row. There are still jobs that we can do on this, um, just little things if we want to keep going with them. And probably if there's an issue for much longer with the... Um, with the finding a milling machine to bore this and do it properly and finding uh, probably more important finding an hour or four or five hours out of someone's day to give me a hand to do it on their machine and um, we can make an oiler for the top here uh, we can make all the ignition timing bits we can make a camshaft which we've got the piece of 4140 piece of pre 4140 for a camshaft that goes in there we can make that there's lots and lots of things we could do on this engine yet, but um, I would like to get this engine bored sort of very, very shortly, and I think that's going to happen before we go too much further. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching it on Patreon, a huge thanks. Um, really, really appreciate all the, the effort that you've put into making this build possible. 
um, don't dismiss that lightly at all. It's it's a joint effort, and I really appreciate it. So, at this point, um, I'm going to call that this for done for tonight. And next video, hopefully, you'll see this engine board. More soon, guys and girls, and be kind to each other.